Hey friends, today we have another mannequin focused horror game and it's just called Mannequin. And I don't know about you guys, but I think mannequins are terrifying. I think I talked about that when we played that Mannequin Hessler storage demo a few months ago. I'm pretty nervous about this one, I'm not gonna lie. I don't really have much information in terms of setting the stage for the game as I know absolutely nothing about it. But real quick before we start, I did have something I wanted to talk to you guys about. I've gotten quite a few comments recently about my videos and they mostly involve people saying, hey BG, these uploads mean a lot to me. They're like a light during my day, especially when I'm having a bad day. And honestly, that's always been the whole point, and I'm honored to hear you guys say that. The goal from the beginning with these videos was to provide a platform where we could connect in a deeper way. And I really feel that part of that connection is adding another little joy to your day. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, I'm a big believer in the idea that when you can pick one or two very small things during your day to look forward to, your day instantly becomes so much better. Personally, this has worked wonders for my mental health. And I know it sounds simple, but it's something you really have to focus on every day. When you take the time every day to focus on these small bits of joy, they add up. Then all of a sudden you start noticing and focusing on the small things more. When those moments become a part of your every day, those small joys won't feel so small after all. Sometimes it really is the little things that can bring us the most joy. Love you guys. With that being said, here is Mannequin. This oh. store isn't at all what I pictured. All right, we start the game with a frustrated um, excuse customer. Excuse me, but it shouldn't matter if I bought these clothes three months ago. Three months so ago? Curse you and this store as well. So curse you and this store as well. <sighs> like how you didn't care to make anyone happy. Go home, old lady. Um, I think everyone that's worked retail can relate to that because. It's kind of soul-crushing, not gonna lie. Although one thing I will say is normally a uh, a retail encounter with a frustrated customer lasts quite a bit longer than that. But maybe we saw the tail end of the conversation. Who knows? Um, so here we are. No music. It's obviously late. We can hear rain falling on the building, and we're in a small department... Check the circuit in the back. Oh, so we're just getting right into it, aren't we? A small department store, okay. Need to check the circuitry in the back. That's fine. There is something so creepy about a department store with the lights off and no. Oh! No, 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 no. I really. The game just started. Good lord. The game just started. There is something creepy about being in a department store with the lights off. It's raining and you can hear the rain very faintly. It's it's honestly a really good way to set the tone for the game. I remember, I used to work at GNC when I was in college. And even a store that's small, like a GNC, when you turn the lights off... What? You don't want to go back inside. So for any reason. I, I, got the master key at the desk. I gotta go back and get the master key? Okay. Pretty cool that there's voice acting in a, um... A small title like this. That always surprises me. Oh my god. Please do not move. Hello? Where did you come from? Stop! I'm not sure what the rules are. Oh. Are they multiplying? There it is, master key. Is 
She's hitting the quan. Oh, no, stop. I don't like the creaking. I don't like the creaking. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Are they faster than me? All right. So it's not a walking simulator. Okay, so now we're gonna head back, grab the master key. The master key the um, I gotta say, I'm surprised this is actually a game where you can lose. I was not expecting that. Stop. Okay, they're fast. They're actually fast. Stop. Where'd you even come from? Okay. So let's pay very close attention. It's like a maze. Stop. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. I don't even know. How are you that fast? Dude, one step is like six feet. No, go away. Okay, what do I need in here? Something where I can get the power back on? I wonder what kind of a store we're in. It's like a Boscov's or something. Oh... All we can hear is the rain. Stop. Oh my god, that's so creepy. I hate mannequins. Game's a little choppy. I have a feeling one of these... Why does a department store need so many? Are we just leaving? Why did the hallway move? Wait, what is going on? Oh my god. What is this place? This is a back rooms game? Wait a minute. Is this actually a back rooms game? No way. Yeah, there's that hum of the lights in the back rooms. We're in a space where we know we don't belong. You know what's really creepy to me about the back rooms? Um, I relate to it. I remember back in the day um, when I was in high school, I, I was a part of this uh, group called BPA, Business Professionals of America. It was the only club I joined in high school. Hey! Where do I go? I'll, I'll finish telling the story in a bit. Okay. It was the only club I joined in high school. And we would go to this hotel. It was a Sheridan hotel. And the competitions were done in back rooms that looked just like this. I mean, the same ceiling tiles, the same carpeting. Oh, I gotta go. The same walls looked just like this. And I remember the first time I saw images of the back rooms, I was kind of stunned. I was like, wait a minute, that looks exactly like, you know, Sheridan. And I think that's what makes the back room so scary is because I feel like we've all been here before, right? It's like a place we've all been before. Is there nothing here? Oh God. Is there nothing here? 
I have no idea where to go. I don't know where the mannequin is. Over here? Ooh! Where'd it go? Please, God. What? The dressing room? We no clipped back in. Let's go. And the power's back. Where are the mannequins? Oh! Oh! Okay, so... Let's talk about that. Um... Great, great stuff. I enjoyed this game. Um... That was a genuine surprise. I didn't think this was gonna be a Backrooms game, but it made so much sense. Um, the idea that... If you go far enough into the backrooms of a big department store, you get into the... Backrooms. I love that. Uh, I thought that was very tastefully done. It didn't feel forced to me at all. It made sense. Especially when, like, you start to really realize that there's something very wrong with the store. Not just with the mannequins, but once that hallway starts to move, really cool stuff. Um, mannequin gets a thumbs up from me. I enjoyed my time with the game. Uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I've been doing a lot of really long video projects, and those are still going to come, but... I, uh, I like doing these short ones, too. It's, it's kind of like a really cool, quick adventure we can go both, uh, we can both go on. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys very much. Please be safe, and I'll see you soon. Take care.